I, I think it's great. Caring is sharing. Yeah! We can talk about weed all day long. My name is Natasha Singh, and I am a henna artist and a lash technician. And now, I am talking about cannabis. And a mom, that's really important too. I'm a mom now too, that's recent. I forget a lot. <laughs> She's almost two. <laughs> When you first become a mom, you think it's like so overwhelming and then as soon as I started going out and about with her, I'm like, this is like my sidekick for life. Like she's so happy and she's so outgoing. She's learning two languages right now and she's dancing and like moms that have a happy baby know that's also a reflection of you. I'm really happy to have them right there and like, she's just, she's amazing. Like she's the best thing that's ever happened to me. So I started doodling on my hand, but that was also right around the time where I actually tried weed for the first time. I went to a psychiatrist and I said like, I'm having anxiety and anxiety meaning like I'm going through school, I'm working a full-time job. Like these, it's just life that's happening that I don't have like the tools to deal with. Within two visits, she prescribed me like four different medications and throughout beauty school, I took those medications. One of my cousins was using cannabis and it worked first. So I was like, okay, let me just try it. Let me just try microdosing and let's see what happened. And it, it was fine. Like I was still able to get up for work. I was still able to go to school. I did it because I knew that it was helping my anxiety and helping my PTSD and helping me just stay a calmer person. Eight months ago, or what, nine months ago on Father's Day, I was the first one to respond to my neighbor. She blasted open, open the door as soon as my elevator door opened to my floor and said, help me. So I walked in and her roommate was sitting there blue on the floor, just looking out from his closet, just still in the face. And he was an East, like East Indian man. And he decided to take his life on freaking Father's Day. I just sometimes feel like it's just so important to talk about mental health and so important for me to say these things because like this can happen and this is why I'm doing this. And like maybe now people can understand like, oh, you know, maybe there's more to it because people don't want to like hear it unless there's like a story attached to it. Someone that's dealt with it a few, a few times more than once. Yeah, sure. I might walk around with this happy face all the time, or you might think that I'm glorifying it because I'm choosing to show it in an artistic way on social media, but this is really why I'm doing it. Like there's so much more to it than that. I do make something, a concoction of my own. Like there's something called um, golden milk. We called it sort in growing up, but it's just, it's like milk where you can use almond milk with like cinnamon, cardamom and turmeric and ginger, just all of this yumminess, but I'll put like some cannabis oil in there. And it's so good and it, I like it before bed sometimes. It's, it's nice. I'm really grateful for like my hair. I'm glad that it's the color that it is, that I don't have to dye it, that, that it's just super healthy, that I'm of Indian descent and like we just happen to have like the best hair in the world and like, I know we complain about hair about other places in your, in your body, but you wouldn't even have these two things if we didn't have the genetics that we did. So like hair all over the place, I'm, I'm grateful. Live within your own skin because especially for women that are brown, like live tinted, like we, we were born tinted. So just live as you are and like be who you wanna be live in your skin. I think that's what it means. <laughs>